Damn, whenever I do it, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> so I just did a no monthly reflection, reflected on this month of March. And wait, wait. Let me put you on a. Ignore the mess there. <laughs> so yeah, I just finished reflecting on this month, month of March. So let, I'll just quickly tell you what, uh, what I did this month. This month's goal was to build back the momentum. So I told my friends that I won't be able to see them this month to focus and build up the momentum. And I can say that this month was really good. So I was able to record two videos at one at once. That was the goal. That would be ideal if I can keep this up, you know, recording two videos at once. Saves time and energy. Hey, just about to record a your video. Actually, uh, the goal is to upload two videos because I've been lagging on the consistency of my uploads on my YouTube channel. So I'm trying to build back my momentum. And today my goal is to upload two videos. Just about to upload, <laughs> upload, just about to record a video around, um, it's about the first chapter of Think and Grow Rich from Napoleon Hill. And I'm also going to use an um, example from Gully Boy, one of my favorite Bollywood movies. And before recording this video, I was like hyping myself self up with uh, the song Apna Time Aega. Apna Time Aega. You know, just to hype myself up. So yeah, wish me luck. Let's crush it. So let me tell you, I recorded the first video and then I had to go eat dinner. So I finished the first first video and then I went to eat dinner. And after dinner, I still had to record the second video, but I was feeling tired. Like my eyes were getting tired and you know, after eating, you feel tired. But I pushed through and just finished recording the second video let's go i have two videos it's crazy i took some thumbnail pics damn i'm really proud of myself i'm able to record two videos in one day that's 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 like ideal for me so yeah doing great doing great now i'm going to go sleep because it's already 9 p.m but I'm really proud of myself. Great job. Great job. Let's keep it up. And then I also watched the Ted Kunchok's video. He makes videos where he helps poor families, you know, financially and set up a small business. And that particular video made me reflect on my life and gave me more reason to be grateful for the life that I have and to be less materialistic because I live in a western world where I have a lot of things I'm blessed with a lot of things and it's a privileged life so sometimes I don't take the time to reflect and be grateful for all the things that I have, all the opportunities that I have being in this country. So yeah, it was a good video. Um, I'm really impressed and I want to thank Ted Kuncho, you know, for his work, for helping others, inspiring others and he also inspired me to do the same. 
when I'm at his level, I would love to help other people as well, financially. Uh, for, for, for right now, I can just inspire other people with my action and my words. Oh, yeah, I also came across a YouTube channel, Great Mind. It's a great, um, it's a great YouTube channel. It's like a combination of animes, videos from animes, and he combines it with like inspiring motivational speech. And there was one particular video where he used scenes from Berserk. It's an anime, a great one, and a speech of someone talking about stoicism, explaining what a stoicism, what stoicism is, and what a stoic man should be. And it's very inspiring. It's motivating, and I listen to it, to it almost every time before going to the gym in the morning. I don't know it it. Uh, it brings me to a zone into a state like uh, I have to be a man I have to take responsibility I can't complain I need to be disciplined I need to crush this workout that's the feeling I get after watching that video so it's a great uh, channel if you are a man you you would love great mind I also bought two tickets to Jordan Peterson yeah Jordan Peterson is coming to Belgium. Um, Yasin, my gym partner, loves. He's a big fan of John Peterson. I am too, but not as big as big of a fan as him, like him. So he, yeah, he suggested we go to his lecture. He's coming to Belgium, so we bought the tickets. It wasn't cheap ticket, but I think it would be worth it. It was like. 75 euros per person oh i also worked out with august he's a uh, someone i got to knew recently very great individual he makes content around health and fitness gave me a, a lot of good advice as well and the workout workout was really good mm. oh i had my pr on inclined chest press with dumbbells like Yasin is really pushing me I uh, I can't ask for a better gym partner either he really pushes me in the gym and he really pushed me to try 30 kg dumbbells and with with his spot uh, I did six reps crazy I would never thought I would be able to do like 30 kg that's crazy so I'm grateful for him I also felt uh, fed up with not seeing, not really seeing uh, physical results from working out for years now. I've been working out for years. To, uh, the the progress is slow. The results are slower, but it's also because I wasn't that consistent with my workouts. But uh, this month I was really really consistent and I really pushed myself as well so I'm seeing more results these days uh, did, oh I also did a PR on shoulder press 26 kg with of uh, with his spot and our best video project 50 challenge video got or surpassed 500k views 500k views that's like half a million views some crazy numbers and we reached 9.4k subscribers the goal was to reach 10k um, in the first qu quarter oh, we, were, we were so close 9.4 I also watched Gully Boy again because I was making a video uh, I also talk about the movie Gully Boy so yeah, I just wanted to watch that movie again. It's so inspiring. Uh, I've probably watched it like six, seven, eight times now. In that one scene, he also talked about that he will, he, his videos will still be 
and positive impact on viewers after he passed away. I was watching this uh, scene again and I didn't knew he, he said that in that scene. And um, it's a scene from The Gully Boy, it's one of my favorite uh, Bollywood movie ever. Maybe, yeah, one of my favorite movies ever, all time. It's a very inspiring video, <laughs> inspiring movie. And I, di I didn't know he, he said, um, I was looking for another scene, but I didn't know he said this part, like, he showed his, his father um, the comments under his uh, music videos that it um, it has impacted their lives and that people are thanking him for making this video and it's changing their lives and he said when I'm not not here anymore when he passes away people will still watch this video and it will still have a great impact positive impact on their lives I've told you this before right the idea of the idea that I when I pass away right the idea that when I am no, no longer on this earth people might still watch my videos and have a positive impact on their lives that idea is so crazy I really didn't realize he said that in that scene. I've watched these movies like four or five times. It's so crazy. I was thinking that and he just said it in this video. I was like, damn, what? That's what I'm talking about. Doing something that that's really fulfilling and you're passionate about talking about those these topics that inspires and helps others and when you like like him when I read those comments that that my videos have a great impact positive impact on other people's life it makes it worth it I really feel fulfilled that's what excites me to make more that, that really gives me motivation to make more videos to have a positive impact on people's life <sighs> just wanted to share it with you oh, I'm going to take creating content more seriously that has value that impacts other people's life in a positive way I yeah, also bought um, GPT-4 was out it's crazy technology AI I'm really interested I'm using it day, daily and learning about how to use GPT-4 so I bought the um, pro version where I can use GPT-4 recently I've been loving Chris Williamson's podcast Modern Wisdom I've been watching I've been listening to his podcast um, here and there before, but this month I've watched like four, five, I think around five episodes of his uh, podcast. And I really love his uh, message and the podcast. So I'll, I'll probably keep on learning from his podcast and also started using a new app strong app it's a workout tracker app strong and it's really good it's a really good uh, workout tracker highly recommend it <laughs> i also tried uh, and pr on bench press barbell bench press tried 80 kg in total <laughs> tried to do one rep couldn't finish the spotter had to help me to one rep max but now i know my limit i'm happy i pushed so that's about it to be honest for this month and 
overall, I'm really proud of myself to uh, for for doing this. Like, uh, uh, obviously, I wanted to see my friends, meet up with them, but I, I was able to stay disciplined and build that momentum back up and being consistent with the workouts, pushing myself in the workouts, recording two videos and being more consistent and taking content creation more seriously as well. Mm. So yeah, overall, I would give it a solid seven and a half, eight. I'm really happy. I'm really satisfied with this month. So yeah, great. I would highly recommend you to also do monthly reflections. I think it's very important to do that. Reflect on the month and see what you can improve and set the goals for next month. I'm happy. Happy with this month. Next month is interesting next month. I'm going to Rome, you know, learn about Stoicism, um, Roman Empire, his history, the architecture there, the art. And also at the end of the month, I'm excited to go to go see Jordan Peterson. So it's going to be a great month next month as well. And yeah, let's do our best. Peace.